Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with the first in my must-have Mac app series. Now the app we're going to be starting with today is Cinch. Now as many of you guys know, I recently did pick myself up a Mac, and while there's a lot that I do like about OS X, the window management is definitely not part of it. So of course you do have some things, so for example you can use uh, launch control, or rather mission control, launch control, uh, not quite the same thing, but of course you can use mission control to kind of organize your windows and go into different spaces. And while that works for some things, sometimes I just want to have a really simple way of getting my windows the right size without having to manually resize, and that's where Cinch comes in. Cinch is a paid program. Uh, basically, it is $7 normally. I believe it's about $4 right now on sale for the next couple days on the Mac App Store. And if you don't want to just buy it, you can go ahead and get the free trial. However, I will mention that the free trial will pop up at you all the time saying, hey, do you want to license it? Hey, do you want to license it? Uh, definitely gets annoying. But let me just show you guys what Cinch is all about. So it's very, very similar to what AeroSnap is to Windows. So if I want to resize this window and put it on the right side, bam. If I want to take another text edit and make it fill up the left side, just put it over to the corner and it's just as simple as that. And again, if I want to maximize something, just push it up to the top and it will automatically resize there. It's a very simple, very easy little thing. It's nothing all that complicated. I believe it's about a megabyte, but it is absolutely very, very helpful. And I couldn't see myself using OS X without it. It's one of the top things I love about Windows. So again, if you guys are interested, definitely be sure to pick it up soon because it is going to be going up to $7. Uh, you can try the free trial, and I recommend doing that before you buy it. Uh, but you won't want to use the free trial for long because like I said, it pops up all the time asking you to license it. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more Mac videos like this, be sure to subscribe.